morning YouTube, Dr. Sola coming to you from Lagos, Nigeria. It's been a little while and as you could see, nothing has changed here. Uh, one thing you see is a low, well, a warning light. And that warning light is indicating that we have a low battery. So here we go. CSW warning list, CSW, let me see if I select it. And it's telling you DC under voltage. So I get this every other morning. And yesterday we didn't really get um, the batteries full. So right now my batteries are 49.3 volts. I'll tell you what I want to do to correct it. Well, the immediate thing I could do is add additional batteries. That is not possible. The other thing I could do is also add additional solar panels. That is impossible. So, what I'm going to do is show you why I think I get this error all the time. You see my equalizers, right? B1 is lit. And I get that all the time. So that's this set of batteries here. I suspect that I have a capacity issue with them. And I am going to replace these two today. I think it's only one that's bad but I cannot identify which one is bad. So I have some batteries that came with this set. I'll be replacing them today. Look, all the others are green. You can hear the humming sound. That tells you that it's doing what it's supposed to do. So you can see green all over. So this one always shows me that red light in the mornings. So I suspect that the reduction, the quick reduction in capacity comes from this cell. So I'll replace them and after I replace them I'll give you an update as to what changes I've seen, if there's an improvement or not. So once again this is Dr. Sola coming to you from Lagos, Nigeria. My old camera is back so it feels good to be able to do quality shots once more. Hey YouTube, Dr. Sola again. So earlier I told you I was going to change two of my batteries because if you look closely, you see these red lights here. Whenever I discharge the batteries, these, these two cells here will light up and I have a red light trying to equalize. So the ones in green with two greens are the ones that have higher capacity. The ones with green and red are the ones that are being, uh, that are getting capacity from the higher capacity one into them so they're lower capacity in terms of what they have in them and then you can see here these seem to be fine but I'm not 100% convinced they are so what I did this morning is I changed the, these well, what, did, what mistake did I make? one, I did not balance or equalize them so these were at 7.8 while these were at 7.0 something or 7.1 so now that I'm charging them guess what's happening this is charging faster and these are charging slower it takes this equalizer about two days to balance the cells maybe three days so what I've done is I've reduced my charge voltage to 54.5 I think 54.5 and I've set my bulk and absorption to 54.5 it's normally 57.6 and the reason I'm doing that is to allow my balancers mm -hmm an opportunity to catch up and bring these other cells up to the same voltage as these. So let me show you what I'm talking about. I'm going to bring out my trusted multimeter and you can see from the numbers what is going on. So here I'm at 808 right? Well look at the cell right next to it. That cell is a 776, 777. Huge difference. So that's a difference of 21, 0.21 volts. For a lithium ion battery, that is deadly. You don't want to have 0.21 volt differential because this will, this will continue to charge and this will try to catch up. And as this gets to 8, this will be 0.21 volts, maybe a little less higher. And that will be higher than the tolerance or accepted parameters that we set for these batteries. So here's another set over here, 774 versus, what was this one, 776, 776. So that's what we're experiencing and the equalizer and balancer will take a day or two to bring them up. So we're going to give up quite a bit of capacity over the next day or two 
and then once everything is back to normal we'll go back to charging it to what our normal charge voltage is now if I had a BMS I wouldn't worry I'll walk away but the thing is all the BMS will do is stop the charge so if this one gets to 815 it will stop charging while these are still in the sevens what the equalizer does is it does uh, it doesn't stop charge however it moves um, excess from the higher one into the lower one so it discharges the higher one and bleed and pushes it into the lower one your BMS what it does is it burns off your excess as heat it doesn't go anywhere this will this will take it from the higher one and put it into the lower ones and you keep doing that and distributing it till everything is the same voltage and the same current so tomorrow hopefully or in two days I'll do a completion to show you that this did work so let me show you the individual cell voltages and then I'll sign off so here are individual cell voltages so here it's 404 404 right then we'll come to this one here this is 388 389 so it's closer right but those numbers are huge 389 all the way back here 388 so it's slowly trying to balance the differences were much bigger earlier in the day differences were as much as 0.6 volts so now the difference is only 0.3 volts it's a combination of batteries charging and the equalizer equalizing once again this is dr solar coming to you from lagos nigeria if you've not subscribed please click the subscribe button if you like what you see give me a thumbs up